Okay, so we are true with uh, demand and we are also true with supply. Remember, with demand, we're talking about consumers. We talk about consumers strictly. And uh, with supply, we talk about what? Producers. Producers. Now, the determination of equilibrium price and quantity at this point, it is a situation where the producers now or the consumers now interact directly with uh, the producers. And by so doing, we will now have the equilibrium price or the market price. It, it can be called equilibrium or what market. So when you see market, is still the same. Okay, now listen carefully. Listen carefully. We, uh, with this, it will now lead us to the third law. The third law of uh, demand and supply. And what does the third law explain? The third law explains that everything being equal at the equilibrium price, at the equilibrium price, at the equilibrium price, quantity demanded is equal to what? Quantity supplied. Now let me quote an example. And uh, let me quote an example. So this is a real life uh, market situation. For instance, if you go to the market now to buy, let's say, a pair of shoes, a pair of shoes, please follow me carefully, a pair of shoes, and uh, the, the seller says you should give, let's say, 10,000 francs. Economics, economics tells us that we are rational in our uh, consumption. What does that mean? As an individual, no matter how rich you are, you, you will not just remove that 10,000 francs and pay. No, there will be serious bargaining. For example, this can be our seller and this can be our uh, buyer, that's the consumer. This is the seller and uh, this is uh, the buyer. Okay, this man says uh, 10,000 francs. Okay, this man now. We now look look into his uh, 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 pocket and now see I have better uh, four thousand francs. For example, I have a four thousand francs. Now this seller too will now look into what his cost. We now look into his cost. If I sell this product for four thousand francs, my main aim is to make profit. If I sell for four thousand francs, maybe the four thousand francs is not up to my cost, my transportation, my everything. If I sell it for 4,000 francs, I might not make, I might even make a lot. Okay, he now, he now say, you should give me 8,000 francs. Okay, give me 8,000 francs. 8,000 francs. The seller, the buyer too now will look into his uh, pocket. If I now give 8,000 francs, I might not have money to buy some other items. Okay, I have uh, 5,000 francs. Maybe that 5,000 francs is the cost price of uh, the pair of shoes. If I sell this now, this, this is the producer now or the seller now uh, uh, saying to himself, if I sell this now at 5,000 francs, I will not make any, any profit. This is just my cost. Okay, give me, uh, give me 7,000 francs. The buyer too is really in need of this pair of shoes. And now say, if I give you 7,000 francs, I might not have money to buy some other item. Okay, I'll give you 6,000 francs. You now see how they are bargaining. Price war. They are fighting over price. Bargaining now at this point, the seller will say, Okay, if I collect six thousand francs now, and my cost price of this uh, pair of shoes is five thousand francs, anyway, I'll make a profit of uh, one thousand. He now tells the uh, individual to give what or the buyer to give uh, six thousand. You now see that both of them now have agreed to buy this uh, pair of shoes, rather, both of them have agreed to uh, give out this pair of shoes for how much for six thousand francs. So, this is the price now that the seller has accepted to sell the product and this is the price that the buyer too has accepted to do all to buy the product. This will now lead us to what? The market price or the equilibrium price. It's the price where the seller has accepted to sell his product and the price to that uh, the buyer has accepted to buy the product. You see that at this point, they have now come to what? An uh, equilibrium. Now, there are three methods that we are going to see to... Uh, uh, come out with uh, the equilibrium price and uh,
points there are three methods the first method that we're going to see will be the algebraic method algebraic method now with the algebraic method we are going to work with what demand and supply function demand and supply function for example look at it if uh, let's work with this example please let's work with this example if uh, the quantity demanded function of a good is uh, let's say 400 minus 80p and uh, the quantity supply is uh, 120p minus uh, 200 we can be asked to determine the market price and quantity remember with the algebraic method we are going to do what the demand function and uh, the supply function now look at this carefully the first thing that we need to do is that uh, remember i said the equilibrium price is a price where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supply that is at this price at this point the first step is that we equate the demand curve or the demand function toward the supply function equate the demand function to the supply function what is the demand function at this point the demand function is a uh, 400 minus 80p is equal to what the supply function 120p minus uh, 200 okay the next step is that the next step mathematically we bring like terms together this is a constant this is also a constant now this constant we come and meet the causing here with the at this point what 400 now look at the, the sign here is what is negative 200 so when it crosses the equal sign it becomes what positive 200 minus 80 p is equals to 100 and 20 p we have now carried this uh, the uh, to meet the brother here next step next step at this point what do we do we now add this to this you will have 600 now this uh, 600 minus uh, 80 p is equal to 120 p equal to follow me carefully please follow me carefully now this we go and meet the brother here because this one carries what a variable p this also have a variable p you can meet the brother uh the other way now 600 it, when we cross this now this is minus 80 it becomes what that's equal to 120 p plus 80 p at this point next step at this point we have 600 is equal to when well, we add this now we have what 200 p okay now look at what i'll do it's always advisable mathematically it's always advisable mathematically that the value that we are looking for should always be at the left now what i've just done is that please follow me carefully what i've just done is that i've just carried this this uh the, this way and uh the 600 the other way that's what i've just done now to make p the subject now what do we do we divide both sides by 200 we divide both sides by 200 this 200 we take care of this 200 this zero here we take care of this this year we take care of this two year one two year three so therefore uh therefore our equilibrium price our equi therefore our equilibrium price will be equals to three francs listen carefully it's equal to three francs i'm using francs because we are in a cameroon now that is the equilibrium price we have not got to the equilibrium quantity for us now to get the equilibrium quantity what do we do we substitute we substitute the equilibrium price substitute the equilibrium price in uh, any equation in any equation you can say substitute it in the demand equation you can say substitute it here in the supply but now let us just use uh, the demand function to substitute let's use the demand function the demand function which is a uh, qd says uh, 400 
minus 80 p okay we now have the value of p we now know the value of p that is uh, is equals to 400 minus 80 what's the value of p this is the value of p the value of p is 3 minus 3 like that next step next step is equal to 400 minus where you multiply this calculator calculator eighty times three is equal to two hundred and forty so it is a two hundred and forty we now subtract four hundred minus two hundred and forty calculator four hundred minus 240 240 is equal to 160 160 so therefore so therefore our equilibrium quantity demanded and supply is equal to 160 units this is uh, using the algebraic method to determine the equilibrium price and uh, quantity. Now, to prove if our answer is correct, this one it should be done on the rough piece of paper. To prove if our answer is correct, we substitute price in equation one, that's the demand function. I'll substitute in the, the supply function. We are going, going to have the same quantity. Now, let us see. Uh, here, G, that's the demand function says. 400 minus 80p which is equals to 400 minus 80 uh, the P, uh, price is 3 which is equals to 400 minus uh, 240 which is equals to 160 units now let us do that too for the supply function supply function says 120p minus 200 now 120 what is p p is 3 120 now let us calculate calculator 120 times 3 120 times 3 120 times 3 is equal to we now have 360 minus 200 or well, we subtract this calculator 360 minus 200 360 minus 200 is equal to we still have 160 units remember i said at the equilibrium price quantity demanded should be equal to what quantity supply so we have proven our answer and it is uh, perfectly correct now this is using method one now let's go to method two method two is now using the tabular method method two the tabular method now with the tabular method please follow me carefully with the tabular method we are going to use uh, both the demand and uh, the supply schedule both the demand and supply schedule that is on the same thing we we'll have the demand schedule and the supply schedule and uh, listen carefully the equilibrium price is established at the price where quantity demanded is equal to what quantity supply now let's see it's multiple on this and then we'll now establish our equilibrium price under quantity okay if you look at the table below it shows a demand and supply schedule put on the same uh, table now based on the first law when price increases quantity demanded falls first law more is demanded at a lower price than at a higher price second law more is supplied at a higher price than at a lower price if you look at the price when it is increasing quantity supply to is also increasing now back to our determination of equilibrium price remember i said the equilibrium price can also be called the market price now we see that i said at this point this one is done basically on what observation this question usually comes in a paper usually comes in paper two you can say the table below determine the equilibrium price and why now look carefully 
I said the equilibrium price is determined at the point where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supply. So what do we do? We go through our quantity demanded table and quantity supply where it is equal. Now look at this. 90, 30 is not equal. 80, 50 is not equal. Okay, you see it is equal at this point. It equal, this is where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supply. This is quantity demanded which is at 70. And now quantity supply 2 is at uh, 70. Which therefore means that at this point, the market price, the market price or the equilibrium price is equal to what? 4,000 francs. It's equal to 4,000. Because look at this price. Because 4,000 francs. We're in Cameroon, so let's be using francs. Why? the equilibrium quantity or the market quantity which is the same as the equilibrium quantity the market quantity is equal to what 70 units why is it that the market price is 4000 because it is a price where quantity demanded is what is equal to quantity supply so that is that using the using the tabular method. We are going to move to the third, the algebraic method, uh, the the graphical method.